EMF and terminal potential difference. Both EMF and terminal potential difference, V-cells, are voltages, potential differences. So we measure both of them using a voltmeter. And the voltmeter is placed across the cell in both cases. So both of them measure the voltage, the potential difference, across a cell. But the difference is that when we measure EMF, we measure the voltage across the cell while the cell has no current flowing through it. For example, when the cell is just loose like that. Whereas when we measure terminal potential difference, then the cell must be part of a complete circuit so that current flows through the cell and then we measure the voltage across the cell. What do you predict the difference would be between these two readings and why? Here we have a battery. We simplify it as if it was just a cell. And we are going to measure, first of all, its EMF and then its terminal potential difference. So we place our multimeter as a voltmeter. Notice that I turned that to the voltage 20 setting. I place the positive probe onto the positive terminal of the cell and the negative probe onto the negative terminal and I get a reading of 9,62 volts. The EMF of this particular battery is 9,62 volts. Now I want to measure V-cells, the terminal potential difference. Now there isn't one terminal potential difference for this particular battery. It depends which circuit it is connected in. And the particular circuit I'm choosing is this one here, a very simple little circuit. So we are going to connect the battery here. And now there's a complete circuit here. Current is flowing out of the positive terminal through this resistor. This is a 220 ohm resistor and back into the negative terminal. So there is current flowing through the circuit and therefore also through the battery. I measure the voltage across the battery now. And I find 6, it's changing because the battery is actually getting flatter as we speak. So let's quickly get a reading. And let's take it as 6, well, 6, 0, we can say. Let's quickly unplug that because this makes the battery flat very quickly. So actually, there were many readings we got. There was not a stable value. But let's take the first one we got 6, 0, 0 volt. And that is the terminal potential difference of this particular setup. So what's actually happening here? When we measure EMF, electromotive force, we are measuring the potential difference across only the energy supplying part of the battery or cell. But a battery or cell does not only supply energy. Remember, potential difference or voltage is energy per charge. Now, a battery supplies energy to the charges moving through it, and that's its EMF. But it actually also takes away some energy. So we could view a battery or cell as having a little resistor inside it. We call it internal resistance. And the resistor inside takes away some energy. So the EMF of the battery or cell tells us how much voltage the battery or cell puts into the circuit, but the internal resistance of the battery takes some voltage out. But it can only take that voltage out if current flows through the battery and therefore also through the internal resistance of the battery. Sometimes we call this voltage that comes out lost volts because it gets lost to the circuit. The circuit never experiences that voltage because it goes out into the air. So when the battery 
or cell is connected to an external circuit with resistance capital R and we now go and we measure the voltage across that battery or cell. What we measure here is terminal potential difference, V cells. And can you see that that must be less than the EMF? Because the EMF tells us how much voltage the battery gave to the circuit, but some of it got lost before reaching the circuit. And V cells tells us the difference. So in the practical we've just done, we saw that the EMF was 9,62 volts. Whereas terminal potential difference was only 6 volts, which tells us that the difference, 9,62 minus 6, which is equal to 3,62 volts, that's how much voltage the battery itself took. It converted that energy per charge into heat because it's a little bit flat. Actually, this is quite a flat battery. And at the end, the battery felt quite warm. And the reason for that is because it stole some of the voltage that it had supplied. It stole it to convert it to heat. And that voltage then never reached the circuit. In summary, EMF means electromotive force. It is the potential difference across a cell or battery where no current flows through the cell or battery. Terminal potential difference, V cells, is the voltage across a cell or battery when current does flow through the cell or battery. EMF is more than V cells. In our case, it was 9,62 volts whereas V cells was only 6 volts. And the difference between the two is because of battery internal resistance. It is the amount of voltage which the internal resistance of the battery takes.